So Instagram followers, website visitors, you want to retarget them, you want to do it using Instagram ads. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So first off, here's three reasons why it's a good idea to retarget people. Number one is repetition. Uh, oftentimes people need to have come in contact with you, your brand, your product, your service, whatever it is, several times before they actually drop a follow or buy a product or anything like that. And in fact, it may even take several times of them coming across you before they take enough time to actually check you out, listen to your message, discover who you are, that sort of thing. So I know it's easy to think that putting the message in front of the people or reaching, you know, retargeting people that have come across you before can be annoying, but it's even, yeah, sure, maybe there's a tiny amount of people that actually find it annoying, fine. Just think of some of the biggest, most successful companies out there. They're constantly running retargeting campaigns. Like just think McDonald's, for example. Everybody knows about McDonald's. Everybody knows what their menu is. They don't need to keep advertising to inform people and educate people on the fact that they exist. No, they're strictly retargeting campaigns. All the billboards, images, commercials, just McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. It's retargeting to keep us top of mind so that we keep thinking about McDonald's. Repetition is key. Don't eat McDonald's. For real, don't eat McDonald's. One more time, for real. Don't eat McDonald's, eat some good food. Number two, the second reason why it's a smart idea to retarget people is because sometimes people just get distracted or something like that, right? Like they're intending to follow you or buy something through your website, but for whatever reason, they didn't finish. And so retargeting them can just be that little nudge, that little push that they need to go, oh yeah, I was doing that or I wanted to finish that. And then they actually can finish giving you the follow or buying your product, whatever it is. And then number three is to retarget people that did do the thing, take the action that you wanted them to. So retargeting works great. Like if you've got a customer that did purchase already, you should be, it's the McDonald's thing, or retargeting your customers, keeping your company, your brand, your service on top of their mind. And especially if they bought from you before and have had a good experience, they'll be much more likely to buy from you again than someone who's a complete stranger to your brand, product, service, content. So here's how you actually can set up a retargeting campaign specifically for Instagram followers and website visitors. First, I would recommend that you set up a Facebook Business Manager account. Watch my Business Manager tutorials if you need help with that. Um, but I, it's easier to access and really just be able to do everything that you want to retargeting campaigns, especially from inside of Business Manager. So first thing you need to do is go to the audiences right here, your audiences section. And then from here in the audience section, click on the create audience button. And then you're gonna wanna create a custom audience. And uh, we're, these are gonna be separate. So IG followers will look at, you know, you wanna set that up as a custom audience. And then if you wanna do website visitors, that would be a different custom audience that you set up. So let's click in the custom audience. Okay, now for website visitors, just click on website. And then if you look right here on this all website visitors tab, if you click that, get the drop down, you can target all website visitors, people who visited specific web pages, or you can target visitors by time spent. And then if you have a checkout process set up on your website, this is where you'll be able to also create audiences based off of people who added to cart, people who initiated checkout, people who actually purchased. You know, So if you wanna retarget customers who actually purchased from you, come into this website section, you'd select, you'd make sure you have your, you'd have to have your pixel set up on your website first in, in the first place. But if you do, then you come in here, and you could just select um, people who purchased and retarget those people. And then you could actually, and this is really cool, sorry, I'm getting a little, I'm taking a little tangent here, but then we could also do off of the custom audience, as long as it's big enough, you could also create a lookalike audience. And that's really powerful, especially if you're selling product through your website, um, you know, get create a custom audience of people who have actually purchased from your website and then create a lookalike audience based off of these real people who have already bought from your website. And that's look like audiences, Facebook looking at all this data from real customers that are purchased from you and going and finding extremely similar people out there on Facebook for you to target that haven't purchased from you before. So Facebook builds that new, which should be a highly targeted relevant audience for you to advertise to. So this is how you retarget people who have visited and or taken certain actions on your website and you can change the date to target them, target whatever you select within the past X amount of days, and you can target up to 180 days 
prior. And the last option you have right here is you can include people who meet any or all of the following whatever criteria you set. Lastly, you just want to name your audience and click create audience. And then I'll show you this in a second. Actually, let's just, I'll just do this right now. So I'll just call this fake audience, click create audience. And then you get this box right here. Your custom audience was created, great. And then inside of the ad set, when you're actually setting up the ad in the audience section of the ad set, right here under custom audiences, if you click into the search bar, you'll see right here, there's that fake audience I just created. And so I would just select that. And that would now be the audience that I target and run my ad to. And I could run it through other filters, targeting if I wanted to, you know, select different interests, behaviors, demographics, etc. But that's how you create the custom audience and then select the custom audience and actually target it inside of your ad set. And then now if you want to retarget IG followers, instead of clicking into website right here, click into Instagram account. And now I did slightly mislead you in the title. But the only reason I did that is just because I know that that's the question that's like, how do I retarget my IG followers? But actually, Facebook doesn't give you uh, the option to retarget just your followers. So what it has here, if we click on this drop down menu, anyone who engaged with your professional account, that click click that for the drop down. And this is the options. These are the options that it gives you for who you can retarget based off of your Instagram account. So everyone who engaged with your account, anyone who visited your account's profile, people who engaged with any post or ad, people who sent a message to your professional account, or people who saved any post or ad. So you'll wanna think about which one of these is the best one for you to select. There's not, again, not a straight retarget your followers, but I mean, it, you like this one, for example, anyone who visited your professional account's profile or anyone who engaged with in a post or an ad, those would probably be better than if there was one here that was just retarget Instagram followers because those are people who are engaged and active and you definitely have followers that are not engaged and active and paying attention to you. So I don't know, if you wanna reach people who are engaged and active on Instagram and spend your money on people that will actually, you know, do something with your ad, Th these are probably better options anyway. So that's how you do that. And then the process is the same. You've got, uh, you can target a longer ways back. So if you look right here, maximum time 365 days, data is only available beginning in June 2017 for Instagram business accounts and 29th, December 2019 for Instagram creator accounts. So if you have a creator account, then you won't be able to go back a full three, 365 days quite yet. At least as of right now, it's mid-August 2020. And then same thing, just give it a name, create audience. When you're setting up your ad set, just select this audience as the audience that you want to target.